Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough of the Dark Matter campaign. And we are continuing our journey through the campaign with Diana Stanley. Uh, last time we did the scenario 3B in the Shadow of Earth, and we are in the last uh, scenario 3 version of uh, 3C, which is uh, Strange Moons. And uh, uh, let's just first quickly see what I upgraded into the deck with the four experience I managed to scrape off from the last scenario. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and uh, I upgraded my level 0 Holy Rosaries to level 2 Holy Rosaries. I haven't used this card before, but I decided that I will give it a try. Uh, we are doing a lot of uh, willpower tests with this deck with high willpower, so we should be adding some uh, blessed tokens into the bag for once instead of all the curses that I'm uh, adding with the promise of power. So we'll see how this functions, and this also is an item asset that can be fetched from our deck with the backpack level 2. So. That is all the upgrades I did to the deck, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and we are nearly set up here. I'll just read the buff text leading to this scenario. So we are on the trace tree from the search for fragment, and it reads The Tattered Amalian appears to have landed on one of Saturn's moons several times in the past few years. The ship's log records these operations as negotiations. K2 PS1 Day 7 notes that this is particularly strange, as there are no known human outposts this far out in the solar system. You could pay a visit to these coordinates to figure out what these negotiations consist of. Proceed to scenario 3C, Strange Moves. So, uh, let's read the fluff text from the Strange Moons. So, humanity's first contact <clears throat> with the extraterrestrial was in the early 21st century, when a lunar expedition stumbled upon a vast underground network of alien structures underneath the Sea of Red Gullif. The Greys, as humans have has come to know them, were under the guise of a curious species that came to our solar system to observe and probe the young civilization. The true purpose of their lunar activities have remained concealed for many years. A years. Uh, you look out of the viewports and can see only dense orange clouds for most of the descent. Only after the landing shuttle dis uh, dipped into the troposphere that the clouds are thin enough for you to peer at the ground below. Miles and miles of windswept dunes of methane snow broken by knife-like volcanic ridges of icy stone open great uh, belching lava flows or of liquid water, ammonia and methane that freeze into fantastic shapes as they pour down the slopes. You could never have dreamed of anything like the beauty and alien landscape of Titan. The craft lands smoothly onto the flat slab of ice. After K2 PS187 confirms that this is the coordinates of the unusual business trips that the cultists were conducting, you sweet up, open the hatch and step out into the harsh terrain. A large tunnel nestled between the orange cliffs greets you. A green glow pulsates from within, illuminating a strange figure guarding the entrance. Okay, so there are a bunch of extra rules for this scenario. So there is the seal mechanic, which is already familiar to those who have played the Forgotten Age. There is the patrol, uh, so enemies not moving towards us, but uh, towards a specific location. And then there's brain scanning. So in this scenario, scan abilities will instruct you to search the scanning deck for a card with two matching tokens. A card that contains only one of those two icons is invalid and cannot be chosen for the scan. The card in the scanning deck must contain both of the indicated icons in any order. Combined skill test. So this is again a, a similar one from the 
circle and done uh, campaign. So we basically just combine two different skills into one and both icons are eligible. And then there's replacing location works the same way as in other scenarios with uh, replacing locations. Uh, just a reminder, we have three tally marks on the impending doom. So if we hit that specific um, treachery, that will shuffle the feaster from a bar into the scanning deck. And we have two memories to go with. We start with the greys in play. So let's quickly look at what they are. So the greys are a, one, a four fight, one health, four evade, alien, humanoid, aloof. Action parlay, test, willpower plus intellect free, reveal <coughs> and resolve an additional chaos token for this skill test. If you succeed, place one clue on the current act from the token bank. So we either need to <laughs> kill those or uh, negotiate with them. So, Moons of Saturn. Titan, to whose immortal eyes the suffering of mortality seen in their sad reality were not as things that gods despise. Lord Byron, Prometheus, do not draw car uh, cards from the encounter deck during the mythos phase. And Doom Threshold is three, so we have a bit of a breather at the start to uh, get past the grace. Uh, first encounter, a small, slender, non-threatening humanoid with large eyes and round, bald head guards the entrance to the facility. They do not speak, only ogles you from afar. You cannot leave the entrance tunnel. Objective, if there are uh, one close per investigators on this act, or after the grace is defeated, advance. So we need to uh, parlay with them or kill them, but we'll see which, which we do. So we are all set up here, <coughs> so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to start, so just do a quick shuffle and we'll draw our opening hand. So, uh, I am hoping to find a weapon and uh, some way to pass that initial uh, willpower plus intellect test of Three. So we are at four uh, at the moment for that test, but we need to reveal two chaos tokens. So I think we need to boost that up a bit. So we draw one, two, three, four, five. We'll get Dragon Pole times two that we reshuffle. And Talisman of Protection. Well, I think I will ditch those, keep these three cards, which seem really good, and uh, draw one more. I think I can let go of, of the vicious, uh, vicious blow for this one. So we draw two. So we find Guard Dog and Ward of Protection. So I think we can manage with those. I was hoping to see uh, Steadfast or uh, take the initiative, but well, uh, yeah, uh, we don't have take the initiatives in this deck. I'm mixing it up with another deck. I'm currently running a, in a different campaign. Okay, well, I think that's good enough. So, that is enough shuffling. First round, I think we will set up. So first, I will play Dragon Pole. Then I will take a resource, and last action I will play Mind's Eye. This is just because we want to be ready with the Dragon Pole if we draw enemies. So that was six resources and three actions done. <clears throat> we'll try the test next round. So nothing else to do here, so we'll uh, go to upkeep. No enemy actions, that guy is aloof. We draw a machete and gain a resource. So that is the first round, a really quick one. Let's go to the next round. We start by adding a doom to the agenda. We don't draw an encounter card. So that is the mythos that is done. So now uh, we need to start parlaying with this guy. So I'm actually committing the talisman of protection into this test. 
uh, uh, so we would be five against three, revealing two chaos tokens. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing that. <coughs> Revealing two chaos tokens. So, before we reveal anything, let's look at the icons. So, skulls are minus two. If you fail, deal one damage to a brain story asset. Uh, cultist is a minus two. If you revealed another chaos token during this test, take one horror. And uh, tablet is revealed two additional tokens for this test. And elder thing is a minus three. If this is an attack or evasion attempt against a buy a key and it reveal an additional token for this test. So, Really bad. Uh, we are up by two. So the first token is a skull. It is a minus two. And the second one is a minus one. So we fail. Yeah, because five versus so minus three. So we deal one damage to a brain story. We don't have any of those in play yet. Okay, um, let's do. Maybe I'll draw a card. Okay, good. Steadfast. We'll try one more time, and I'm committing the steadfast. So we are seven versus three, revealing two tokens. <laughs> Minus four. Okay, so we are four versus four. Uh, I mean, three versus three. Zero, thank God. Okay, well, we barely passed that one. So we have put one clue here. So we advance. The fungi from Yugoth. The grey alien suddenly dissolves into an array of lights. You realize now that it was only a hologram. A large crustacean-like entity crawls out of the shadows from behind it. You remember these aliens, the Maigo, who will often use manufactured disguises when dealing with humanoids or humans to appear less threatening. Another hologram animates into life. It, it exhibits the shapes of several humans exchanging jars of brains for stacks of golden plates and other minerals. This must have been a recording of the cultist negotiations. With, it, with its fungoid arms, the alien gestures towards the strange facility, as if inv inviting you in. Flip the grace to its other side. Transfer any damage tokens on it to its other side. Each investigator with three of you were Memories takes one horror, so we actually have to take a horror. Okay, uh, advance to agenda 2A and act 2A. Do not remove Doom from play. Move all Doom from agenda 1 to agenda 2A. Add two Doom to agenda 2A for each telemark under impending Doom or camp pilot. So it is three. So we add. We add six. So we are at seven doom. And this we just pass for. Okay, so we're at immediately advanced the next one, which is bad. But it is what it is. So let's read this. Signs from Aldebaran. The hard white specks of sun shines brighter now, drowning out the rest of the stars, paling them and Thinging them out. Yeah. The harsh atmosphere uh, permeates throughout the Migos facility force. When a brain story asset is defeated, remove it from the game and add one telemark under impending doom in your camp battle. And the threshold is 8 and we are at 7. Then uh, we remove that and we flip this. We'll read it in a moment. So, Secrets of the mind. The outpost appears to be a human brain storage facility of some kind. Perhaps using the Migos machines to scan the brains obtained by the cultist will help um, determine fragments whereabouts forced. If a simulation location has no clues on it, add it to the victory display. Objective, find as much information as possible from the brain leaders in the facility if each undefeated investigator has resigned at advance. 
Okay, so now we have the Myco Scientist. So it is still aloof, 4, 5, 3 health, 4 evade Myco, and it has patrol any connecting location. So it's uh, constantly moving. So fast triggered ability, exhaust Myco Scientist resolve, and action ability on Myco Scientist location, ignoring its uh, action cost. Investigators at any location may trigger this ability. Okay. And that is everything. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw defiance, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom so the agenda advances. So I think it would have been sweeter to arrive here a bit earlier, but it is what it is. So let's read this. They came from above. A roar of no creature on earth resounds throughout the facility. A myriad of flying wings plot out the sun, swooping towards the facility. The lights with within the chambers take on a darker bluish hue. What you assume must be the Maiko equivalent to an alarm. You realize now that you are in the midst of an interstellar assault. Shavolta set aside interstellar predators and counter set into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. This set is indicated by the following icon. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a Bayaki enemy is discarded. Spawn it at the entrance tunnel. Well, lucky we are ready to fight. And flight of the Bayakis. The large creatures with membranous wings and webbed feet spiral down towards the facility ready to strike at any moment forced. When a brain story as it is defeated, remove it from the game and add it one telemite under impending doom in your camp lock and the doom threshold is 5 so we don't have a lot of time here so we don't have anything in the encounter discard pile we shuffle these here i'll just give a thorough shuffle with this and then we need to discard cards until we hit up by uh, by a key enemy and that will uh, spawn at the entrance tunnel where we are at Oh yeah, it, in the enemy's face, this actually had... Um, I'll just mark it with this. So... <clears throat> this guy already patrolled here, so... That Michael scientist is uh, safe at the moment. Okay, and now we need to discard cars until we hit the... By a key enemy. Uh, Parasite is not a by a key enemy, and vicious by a key is a by a key enemy. And these go in the discard, and we are set. Okay, well, <clears throat> look, let's look at this. So, vicious by a key spawn entrance, turn patrol nearest location with a brain attached, forced at the start of the enemy phase. If vicious by a key is ready, deal two damage to him. Each Maiko enemy and brain story as at its location and hits for two damage. So it's uh, it starts engage with us because we are at the entrance location. So I'll just modify. It. So okay, well we still need to draw an encounter card, and it is lost translation. So put lost translation into play in your threat area and set a zero or elder theme token to the from the chaos back on it. Double action discard lost in translation. So I am actually playing this to get one card underneath Diana. So we take a horror. So yeah, we need some horror so quickly. But uh, we draw a card, we get another guard dog. I think we need to play one. Soon enough, we gain a resource. Okay, well, uh, we'll start by whacking that vicious by a kit. So we are fighting with five. I'll commit uh, this and say that skull. No, a uh, tablet. Or. Yeah, uh, I'll say 
I'll say the skull. We don't want to take any more bad things. And well, it is a skull, so we cancel that. We put this underneath Diana. So this is a different phase. So we get to draw a card, gain a resource. We deal two damage with the dragon pole. We'll hit again. This time I'm committing the machete to the test. So we are hitting six versus four. Uh, let's see, so three, four, five, yeah, six versus three with committing the machete. And it's another skull. So we kill off this one. And uh, last action, I will play the guard dog. Because we really need some uh, sanity soak and help with the enemies. So that is our whole turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. No point in the scanning here. So we get another ward of protection and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this round is Innocent mishap, parry, revelation. You must either choose one, deal one damage to the nearest brain story. I said deal two damage to my go scientist take to direct damage. So, <clears throat> I think I will just take the direct damage this time. I'm not spending a cancel on that. Okay, so that is the mythos phase done. We'll go to, yeah, this guy on the, or patrol over here, for example. Okay, so my first action will move to the alien chambers. So we find the brain storage, four shrouds, zero clues, four. After you reveal brain storage, that's a set aside brain storage asset to it. Choose a brain story asset in play, and that's the chosen asset to any interface location. Uh, attach each set aside brain story asset. So we have these brain story assets attached here. Okay, and uh, let's look at these a bit more closely. So these have a second symbol on them. They are different. So we have a, they are just uh, labeled cylinder 114367 and 089 and we don't know what they are. Okay, and second action, we'll move into the alien chambers. Communicator, so two shroud, zero clues. Action scan. So it's the scanning deck for a card with both this location icon and the in icon on an a brain story asset attached to this location. Draw it. Let me two brain story asset attached to this location. Okay. So Uh, yeah, so that was the second action. Last action. We want to do with our last action. We can't scan yet, so I think we will gain... Mm, I'll draw a card. Holy Rosary, well, more sanity, so that's good. And the Miko hunts here, and I'll do a fast action to attach one of these. So I'll just attach this with two dots or, or slashes. So that's attached to the communicator, so we can scan here next round. So that is the villain phase done, will, uh, enemy phase done, so we'll go to the upkeep. So we draw drawn to the flame and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we add a doom. And counter card for this round is Maiko experiments. So just willpower three plus will, uh, so double willpower three. Reveal and resolve an additional chaos token for this skill test. For each point you fail by take one horror. So I'm not even testing that. I will just play this with the horror there. Lose a resource, gain a resource, gain a card, and that is that. 
So first action, we will play the Holy Rosary. Second action, uh, we will do this Migos action again to do this one. So we'll attach this one here. Then I'll, as a last action, I'll scan. No, I'll do a free scan with the K2 PS187 here. So we are looking for uh, the X, gray, uh, brown X, or and uh, green, either diamond or two slashes. So not acceptable. Yeah. So the second card we found. So the minor. So, take one horror. So, let's read the fluff text. So I'll shuffle this in a moment. So, the minor. When the communicator connects to the brain cylinder, all of all you hear is screaming. Ah, I'm falling. I'm falling. Perhaps the disembodied was too much for the fragile human mind to grasp. So, we don't have a drift in space in the Victor display yet. So, otherwise. We try to calm down the, and ask them about the cultist, but they never st stop screaming. Take one horror and shovel this card back into the scanning deck. Okay. And we take a horror. So I'll put it on the Holy Rosary. Okay, so I think we should go explore some other locations now. This is not the right spot, so... Let's see, first action was to play the Holy Rosary. Then we did a uh, scan. I will move here and go to the alien chambers here. So, dream diagnostics. Uh, three shroud, zero clues. Uh, if reality simulator is in place, scan. Oh yeah, um, I, I misplayed this, so, so it's a scanning deck for a card with both this location's icon and the icon on Brainstorest, and uh, that's it. I uh, can okay, draw it. Okay, yeah, I, I did it correctly. So we are here. So uh, there's two limit of two here. So if Reality Simulator is in play, scan. So it's the scanning deck for a card with both this location's icon and the icon on a brain story asset. Put attached, uh, asset attached to this location, draw it. If it is a location, put that card into play on top of the reality simulator. Limit two brain story assets. Okay, so I'm getting an idea what we need to do here. So I can't remember if I used this guy this round. Okay, so let's... I think I did, but let's play that I didn't, because... Yeah, so I will exhaust this guy and move... Let's move... This actually matches here, so I'll put this here. Okay. Last action, we will scan here. So this it is the top card here. No, uh, let's not scan here. Uh, we'll move and reveal the other locations. So we find the reality simulator. So it is uh, three shroud zero clues. Reminder, reality simulator there is not in play while there is a card on top of it. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I deducted that we need to have the reality simulator in play. Yeah, we can't scan before it is. Okay, so that is our turn. Uh, this guy goes here. No, actually, uh, it goes here. So that no, it, it doesn't because it's exhausted. So we ready up. We draw points eye and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 3 of 5, 
encounter card is Toxic Pits. Just agility plus agility 3, reveal and resolve an additional chaos token for this skill test. If you fail, deal 1 damage to each investigator asset and enemy at your location. Uh, we don't have anything to boost that with, so... I will use the Mind's Eye. So I'm testing 4 versus 4. Uh, 4 plus 4 versus 3. So first token is a 0. Second token is a Skull. So we pass. And... Uh, we'll just discard a copy of Mind's Eye and add 2 secrets here okay so we will first action move over here so this is the memory scanner if Reality Simulator is in play, scan. Search the scanning deck for a card with both this location's icon and the icon on Brain's story asset attached to this location. Draw it. If it is a location, put that card into play on top of Reality Simulator. You need two Brain story assets. So, I am doing the Mygos action again. So this comes over here. So we can scan. So we are looking for the uh, triangular and diamond shapes and that's it shuffle the scanning deck okay oh yeah this we passed so it is a mutiny trees route one clue uh, action deal one damage to brain cylinder 367. Each investigator at this location adds one tally mark next to their memories. Group limit once per game. So that comes into play there. And just a reminder uh, when a brain story has this. I uh, know it's on this card. So if a simulation location has no clues on it, add it to the victory display. Okay. So we'll head back here. So there's one clue here. And uh, we will investigate using Mind Sai. So I'm investigating four versus uh, five versus three. Zero, we pass. We'll grab this clue, and this goes into the victory display, and I didn't want to get the memory. Last action. We will move over here for next round, so we can scan more. So, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another mine side, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. So four of five encounter card is a vicious fire key. Oh yeah, and this read it. So spawn the entrance tunnel. So we need to deal with that one um, at some point. So I'll mark it here. Okay. So first action, I will scan. So it is the top card here, and it is city of cats. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Freeze route, one clue. All I discard one card of each card type asset event and skill from your hand. Heal one mental trauma. Group limit once per game. So unfortunately, I don't have a skill card in hand. Oh, yeah, we uh, scanned with this. And I'm actually forgetting to take the resources so or cards. So I'm taking. Well, I'm taking a card. Dark inside. That's good. So, first action. I will actually play the Talisman of Protection. 
because that makes us fight better against this guy later. Second action is to move here and third action is to just draw into the flame this. Not taking any chances, so we'll draw and counter card. It is simulation disparency. Put simulation disparency into play in your threat area. Pause when you would discover any amount of clues. Discover one fewer clue, take one horror, and discard simulation disparency instead. So unfortunately, we don't get the clue now. Okay, so this is discarded. Then we take one horror. And actually, I have forgotten to use that, so that's a shame. Yeah, so I'm uh, taking the horror on myself. Okay, well, it is what it is, so let's just put more tokens here. So enemy pays this enemy hunts over here. Oh no, uh, let's move this guy in a safe place first. Uh, let's go there. Okay, then this guy hunts over here, so we'll go to upkeep, we draw holy rosary and gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we are the doom, so the agenda advances, we are running out of time I think. Hi, sir. Uh, three fight, three health, three evade, abomination, humanoid elite, spawn entrance tunnel, aloof, retaliate, hunter, force. When you would evade a Bayaki enemy at Haita's location, be deal two damage to Haita instead. Okay, well, that's a beefy one. Against the sun, more and more of the winged fiends descend along the glare of the sun. The number of predators is only increasing by the minute. Soon you will be a completely overwhelmed force when a brain story asset is defeated. Remove from the game and add one telemark under impending doom in your camp lock and doom shroud of three. And it reads hint the scenario will not end when this agenda advances, so something bad will happen. So we don't have a lot of time. I'll mark this enemy. Okay, so it is in the entrance tunnel. So we'll get an encounter card. And it is a stalking by a key spawn entrance tunnel. Hunter alert. Post after a stalking by a key attacks you, move it to the connecting location with the fewest investigators. Okay, so we are really swarm swarmed with enemies now. And we need to deal with them somehow but first we will investigate and uh, I will investigate with mind's eye so I'm uh, four versus three hope that's enough Do I want to? Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm committing the Holy Roaster. So six versus uh, five versus three, and minus two. Good thing we did that, so we get this clue. This goes into the victor display, and uh, how do we want to do this? So this. Oh yeah, the yeah this has patrol, so it won't come after us. But these are hunters, both. Uh... Okay, so um. Will I do? Oh 
Do I have the talisman of protection to save me if I get hit by too many enemies? So I'm thinking I'm just waiting it out for a moment. Okay, so... How does this work? So... Where did it read that? How do they hit those brain cylinders? Oh yeah, at the start of the enemy phase, if the vicious spike is ready, deal two damage to each micro enemy and brain story asset at its location. So we don't want to let it go anywhere. Okay, so we have to go here. So this engages us. And uh, we will hit it for uh, five versus four. So we are three, four, five, actually six versus four. Minus one, so we deal two damage. Yeah. Okay. No, wrong guy. This one. Okay, enemy face. Uh, this this boat hunt here. So this engages us. It's us for one damage and one horror. Protect like the damage here. Deal. One damage here. So this guy moves back here. Okay, and uh, this is aloof. And this this guy hits me for two damage. I'll just so I'll one here, this guy takes one damage. I'll take one damage. And that's that. Oh yeah, this guy moves over here. So that is the enemy phase upkeep. We draw Dragon Pole, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is Simulation Disparency. I will cancel that by using uh, Dark Insights. So I'll gain a resource and draw a card. Promise of Power. And that's that. Uh, we have to start fighting, so I will Exhaust Guard Dog. To engage Haida and it attacks me for one damage and two horror. So those horrors would defeat me. Oh, yeah, I have plus one willpower from that. Okay, so I'll Take one damage on the guard dog. I'll deal one damage back. But I still have to... Mm. The horror somewhere. Yeah, I'm... Um, putting one here. And one here, so the Holy Rosary unfortunately breaks. Nothing we can do. Then the first action, we will uh, hit the Vicious Bayaki 6 versus 4. Minus 2, we defeat this one. Then we hit uh, 6 versus 3 against Haita. Minus two, so we defeat this 
one and it is victory point one so we put it into the victory display and uh, last action we really don't want this guy come and hit us so we will uh, we will think for a moment okay well Okay, so we uh, will do the free scanning here, and no, it's too. It's another scanning. Uh, what do we want to do now? Okay, well, I'm just doing this action, so we'll move this over here. And then this guy moves here, I'll just exhaust it so we can't use that this round. Then uh, this guy hunts here, hits us for one damage, I'll put it on guard dog, which will defeat this. So. We have a bit more uh, room to breathe now. And that is that turn, so we ready up. We Yeah, we cancelled that, so we draw a card. Twilight Blade and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 2 of 3. Encounter card for this round is another vicious Payaki. Well, uh, that's that's bad, but nothing we can do about that. No cancels in hand at the moment. Uh, let's see, I'll do the my go action here now. So we'll move this over this side. Then we will move up here, then uh, we will do the scanning here, uh, we are searching for the blue three balls and uh, the diamond, so it is this one, and we get the fewer dream. As an additional cost to investigate pure dream, commit all eligible skill cards in your hand to the, that investigation force. When uh, fever dream is added to the victory display record in your camp log that you have witnessed the unconscious pandemonium. Okay. We'll move there and we will do this. So I will ignore that we need to spend all eligible uh, skill cards to this skill test. Uh, so I'm investigating uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 versus 3, minus 2. And we'll grab two clues and this goes underneath here. So we draw a card and we gain a resource. So we record in our campaign log that uh, you have witnessed the unconscious pandemonium. Okay. Let's see now. Yeah, I need to mark this one. Okay, and uh, that is our turn. Enemy face, this guy moves over here. 
it is patrol so it, yeah it doesn't do anything this round so we'll go to upkeep we draw a card another read the signs and get a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add doom so the agenda advances but if the game won't end they are everywhere the alien forces do not stop more and more they descend you can hear nothing other than the constant fluttering of their hideous wings and their shrill and the shrill of their beaks it feels as though every time you fend off one of them another two arrive in its place shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until one by a keeper investigator enemies are discarded spawn them at the entrance tunnel and this flips back to 4a so we are on a soft timer here before we are overrun with by a kiss and we are nearly nearly dead we already have one in our way. Okay, so we look for fire key. So we get the stalking fire key and add it to the entry tunnel. Okay, well. Uh, I will do the Migo action this round to move this over here then I will move here I'll do the scanning we are looking for triangle and square so it is this one it is a, hid a hiding place uh, four shroud, one clue per uh, So, while the investigators controlling the K2PS 187 is at this location, reduce its shroud by two. Okay, well, that's good. We'll move back here. We will investigate and I'm uh, using this again. Uh, we are investigating uh, six, seven. 8, 9 versus 2 minus 3 we pass and uh, we don't have any more room underneath Diana so this should be a clue so I'll grab the clue this goes into the victory display and uh, that is our turn so I'll mark this enemy also This enemy hunt here, this starts, so it will hit this one like so. And uh, move to a brain, and I think it will move here. And uh, that is that. No more enemy actions, we will go to upkeep. We'll draw another vicious blow and gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. I forgot to ready this guy. Okay, so we need to go after this. Uh, okay think so uh, I'll do the Migo action actually I will do that next round so so we add a doom counter card is alien aid revelation put alien aid in the plane your threat area uh, action take two horror. If my go scientist is in play, you may ready it and move it to any location. Discard alien aid. Just put it over here. Not gonna use that. <laughs> I don't have the uh, sanity to do that. So, first action. We will just move here. 
this guy engages me and uh, second action I will hit Yeah, so I'm hitting a 6 versus 2. Minus 1, this is defeated. Okay, how do we... So... So I think we need to use this guy to get this safe. I think we just lose that one. Yeah, I think that's inevitable. Next round we'll go in, kill it. Uh, what do I want to do? My last action. I think I'll take a resource. And wait. So, uh, we'll go to enemy phase. This uh, hits and destroys this, so it's out of the game. And it will patrol... Here. Engage me. So that's good. Next round we can defeat it. And it will actually hit me. But I will cancel that with the Talisman of Protection. Go to upkeep. We, no, we, we just take the damage. I have plenty of health still. Well, not plenty, but I have some health still. So we'll go to upkeep. We draw deny existence a bit late, but it is what it is. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is a parasite. Cannot be disengaged. Well, that sucks. It uh, in, in, is engaged with us. So first action, we will do vicious blow times two and uh, hit this uh, vicious Bayaki seven versus four with the dragon pole zero it is defeated second action will hit the parasite uh, five versus six versus two skull it is defeated well now we are Killing left and right, but we'll do uh, the Mygo Scientist and move this over here. Move here and scan for free. So we are we have the these cards on top. So now we get the cultist. So when the communicator crackles into life, it sounds the murmured hymns of a chant. You realize that this brain must have belonged to one of the cultists. If you have four more memories, uh, we would uh, add one talimark to impending doom and add this card to the victory display. Otherwise, uh, shuffle this card back into the scanning deck so it gets shuffled back here. Okay. Well, that sucked, but uh, it is what it is. So we don't need any more cards. So we gain a resource from the scanning, and that is it. So no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw promise of power, gain a resource. 
is ready. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. So we add a doom so the agenda advances so we know what to do. So we uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck and discard cards until we hit the Bayaki. So I think we will bail out from here uh, after this round. So we do the scanning, move, move, resign. But first we transfer that other brain here with the Miko scientist. Okay. Another vicious biokit. Well, of course it is. And that spawns in the same place as everything else. Okay, we get an encounter card. Innocent mishap, so... I'll deal one damage to the nearest brain. We don't care. So, we'll use the Mygo Scientist. This moves here. We'll do the scanning, so it's the top card here. The teacher. A hazy voice sounds off sounds out of the machine and introduces themselves as an elementary school teacher. They had been abducted by the cultists over a hundred years ago during the Great Cataclysm. If a hiding place is in the victory display, you jog their memory by recounting the events of their abduction. They describe hearing news of the cultists spreading biological agents of some sort throughout the streets during the riots at this card to the victory display. So we get this card in the victory display, so we are getting good results here, but... Well, I'm, I'm cheating, so... Uh, the rest of the cards, we know that this is a dot. And the rest of these are linked to the brain that already got defeated, so we better just get out of here. So, we move here, we move here. And we resign. So that was that. So let's see. So find as much information as possible from the brain cylinders in this facility. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance over the moon. If the current agenda is agenda three or four, you sneak out of the facility while the ex the extra terrestrial swarm is distracted and then return to your vessel. <coughs> uh, behind you, a large translucent shield covers the entrance to the tunnel. Within moments, the Mygo facility begins its retaliation. A spew of green gas releases into the facility, eradicating the remaining predators. Resolution 2. So, uh, resolution 2. On board the Tatterdemalion, you try to de decipher the meaning of the various glimpses you've seen within the alien facility, but nothing strikes you as particularly significant. A, tru a true search of the cargo hold reveals a stack of the golden discs that were exchanged during the transaction. You fiddle with them and try to combine them in various orientations, but they do not appear to have any use other than the value of the material itself. There is still much you don't know, and with the resolve, you prepare your, for your next expedition. Uh, if there are three story cards in the victory display record in your campaign logs that you have uncovered the cultists in human methods, uh, we only have one story card, so no. Uh, yeah, we only have one. Okay, so we don't add a Elder Thin token. If a copy of Miko Scientist is in the victory display record, you can by look that you are not in good standing with the Miko, otherwise record that you are allied with the Miko. So we are allied with the Miko. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display, and we add one telemark under impending doom. And then we go to intro to introspection, but that will have to remain for the next one time. So we managed to get quite a lot of experience. So we get one, two, three, four, five. Well, this is victory zero. 
Okay, so we get 5 experience, so that's really good. We get to do some upgrades for next time. But yeah, that was Strange Moons uh, with Diana Stanley in the Dark Matter campaign. So uh, next time we will head to scenario 4, which is the 6th scenario in this campaign actually. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.